Okay, so I'm um, here with another wrestler DVD collection that I have. Uh, I did one on Sting, uh, one on The Undertaker, so this time it's going to be on Shawn Michaels. Now, I don't have every DVD that came out of Shawn Michaels, but I, I'm just concentrating on the two major DVDs that came out uh, a couple years ago. So we're going to go with the first one. This was uh, Shawn Michaels' Heartbreak and Triumph. Uh, came out probably around 2006, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong on that. Um, but we'll check the matches and see the years and stuff. So we got, you know, Shawn Michaels, you know, on the cover here. This picture is probably taken from, I'm going to say 96 or 97. Uh, we got to flip it back over here. And we can open this up and we get some more pictures. Uh, especially we have that picture of Shawn Michaels sitting with the, uh, the WWE Championship from WrestleMania 12. And you're going to open it up, and it's going to be three DVDs. Uh, Shawn Michaels is one of those wrestlers that I didn't like as a kid, but he was one of those guys like I appreciated more as I got older and started wa continued watching wrestling. Kind of like Ric, Ric Flair. I was never a big Ric Flair fan. It wasn't until like I started watching like uh, old NWA pay-per-views that I was like saying, man, Ric, Ric Flair is you know definitely the man. Um, same with Shawn Michaels. Again, it wasn't until like after like you know, he came back from his back injury. Uh, 2002 is when I really started, you know, following his career, and um, that's you know he's been having some, you know, since then had some, some of the best matches. Uh, so this is one, you know, has the documentary. And nowadays, this is probably st like stuff like this is going to be reserved for like the WWE Network. It'll be like a 24 documentary. But back then, you know, there was no WWE Network, so you had to collect the DVDs. Uh, so again, if you, you know, if you're somebody that like, likes collecting DVDs, you know, definitely, I definitely recommend this one. Um, I think it's on the WWE Network too. Um, but we do have, you know, a uh, documentary of his career. Uh, it's going to be starting all the way, you know, with the Rockers, um, you know, when he became the Heartbreak Kid, you know, his WWE title run, all that stuff. Um, the injury, the back injury, you know, also Montreal, we can't, you can't forget about that. There's going to be a section about that in there. Uh, we're going to talk about, you know, he also talks about, you know, his private life, you know, you know, uh, his drug problems. So that's all in there. We also got promos, um, Heartbreak Hotel from 94. Uh, we have the Larry King spoof from, um, Raw August of 2005. Good stuff when you, when he, uh, parried Hulk Hogan. Um, and then some of the matches on here. So, uh. You get really early Shawn Michaels from um, World, Class, World Class Wrestling. Uh, Shawn Michaels versus Billy Jack Haynes. I think this is, might have been one of his first matches. And then you get AWA, the Midnight Rockers with him and Mario Gennetti. Uh, we get, um, then, you know, from, we finally get back into WWE, WWF at the time. MSG, January 23rd, 89, the Rockers versus the Brain Busters. Uh, interesting match on here. You get uh, October of 1990, the Rockers versus the Hart Foundations. For the WWE tag titles, two out of three falls. Uh, so this is the class w where the Rockers actually won the tag titles, but uh, for some reason it was never aired, and no one they didn't WWE hasn't ever like because um, it never aired on TV, so they they don't um, do an action. It never took place, pretty much. Uh, we have Rumble '91, the Rockers versus Orient Express. You get a lot of a lot of the early Rockers. In this DVD, uh, and then we get Shawn Michaels versus the British Bulldog from Saturday Night's main event. From uh, it's November eighth, nineteen ninety two, when Shawn won the uh, his first Intercontinental title. Uh, that was I, I remember watching that, and I was kind of surprised because British Bulldog just won the IC title from SummerSlam at SummerSlam from Bret Hart. So I thought he was going to have like a long title run. And you know, again, I you know, there's no internet back then, but now we know that. Bulldog was fired because of the um, steroids, you know, like it was like the warrior was fired and the Bulldog was fired too. Um, so that's why he had to drop the title. We have the full Royal Rumble 95 match when Shawn Michaels entered at number one and he and he went through the whole match. Uh, something about that that Royal Rumble, it's like all previous Royal Rumbles, the in-between entrants were like, um, I think two minutes or 90 seconds. I think this one was only a minute, so it was like it was like the shortest Royal Rumble in, in history. Uh, we have um, in your house Shawn Michaels versus Jeff Jarrett. Um, this is right after like you know Shawn Michaels came back as a um, uh, fan favorite or babyface. 
Uh, it was after WrestleMania uh, 11 with his match with Diesel. Uh, on Raw, he had the promo with Sid Vicious, or Sid just, well, you would call him Psycho Sid at the time. And uh, Psycho Sid, like, turned on Shawn Michaels and powerbombed him. So then they made Shawn a uh, babyface. Uh, we got King of the Ring 96, Shawn Michaels versus British Bulldog. And then that's good. then there's, like, a skip. Like, nothing from 97, nothing from, like, um, 98. Which were the, there would only be two matches for '98, either the the um, the Rumble match with Undertaker, casket match, and then one with Sean with uh, Stone Cold. Uh, but there was a big skip, so I don't know why. Maybe they just wanted to concentrate on Sean's career as not with like DX or anything. But '97 is pretty much all skip. There's nothing, and and and, and surprisingly, not much of '96 on here because '96 is when he won the world title, and you only get one match, the King of the Ring match. So. Um, Really, you know, kind of disappointing because I think that in '96 he had some great matches. The one with Mankind from from Mind Games was really good. Uh, they could have put the one with, with Diesel from um, Good Friends, Better Enemies, uh, in your house. Uh, but yeah, they left out a lot. Uh, so then, yeah, again, there's a skip, and then we get uh, Raw, December 29th, 2003, Shawn Michaels versus Triple H for the World Heavyweight Title. Um, I know Sean didn't win that match. Uh, I think that was the match that kind of set up their... No, I think it set that match set up their match at Royal Rumble 2004, which was a last man standing match. Then we had the Rockers reunion 2005 against La Resistance. Shawn Michaels versus Kurt Angle, WrestleMania 21 rematch from Vengeance. And then the last match is Shawn Michaels versus John Cena. WrestleMania rematch, non-title, Raw, April twenty third, two thousand and seven. I think that was that match was like an hour or something. And I also think Sean actually won that match, of course, because it was non-title. Uh, so definitely, that, that's, that was pretty good. The other DVD that came out a couple years after, I would say probably two thousand nine or two thousand ten, was was this one, Shawn Michaels' My Journey. Here's the back cover. So again, another three disc set. Got here. Let's see what the matches are. That's a picture of Sean. That'd be pretty cool if he ever got if I could get that autograph. <laughs> All right, so um, there's no documentary on here. We just basically just get the matches and maybe some some promos. Uh, so you you really get like some early Shawn Michaels matches from AWA. Um, like, also, you get the first ones like from World Class Wrestling, Shawn Michaels versus One Man Gang from 1985. So that's that's going all way back. Um, so early Shawn, you know, rocker stuff. Uh, this time on this one, we got Rockers versus Brainbusters from Boston Gardens, March 18th, 1989. The other one had from Madison Square Garden. Uh, Rockers versus the Hart Foundation. This one's actually from uh, 1989. Uh, Shawn Michaels versus Bret Hart from uh, June second, nineteen ninety two. So I think we all think of Bret Hart when Shawn Michaels versus Bret Hart. We think of two matches: WrestleMania twelve, the Iron Man match, and of course, of course, the Montreal Screwjob Survivor Series ninety seven. So um, that's interesting to see, kind of like early on Shawn Michaels heel run. Uh, what, yeah, what else do we have? And that's for the inter that's for the inter Intercontinental Championship. So. That meant that Bret Hart was the champion during that time, so that's interesting. Shawn Michaels versus the British Bulldog from Raw of 95. Uh, Shawn Michaels versus Sid Vicious from Raw of um, September 11th, 1995. Uh, Shawn Michaels versus the 123 Kid from Raw, because you get a lot of Raw matches. I think matches on Raw kind of get lost because it's not on a pay per view. It's like um, people remember more matches from pay-per-views than they do on Raw or SmackDown. Uh, Shawn Michaels versus Mankind, August 11th, 1997 from Raw. Uh, British Bulldog versus Shawn Michaels, one night only, September 20th, 1997. And then we get the casket match with The Undertaker from the Royal Rumble of 98. That's when Shawn had the back injury. Then there's a break, you know, 98, and then we have, you know, Shawn Michaels versus Chris Jericho from WrestleMania 19. 
Uh, we have Shawn Michaels versus Ric Flair. It's not the one from WrestleMania 24. It's from Bad Blood uh, 2003. Shawn Michaels versus Kurt Angle from WrestleMania 21. So the other DVD had their rematch from Vengeance. This one has the match from WrestleMania 21. I think that match actually won like from the Wrestling Observer. I think it might have won match of the year. Uh, we have... Um, Shawn Michaels promo in Montreal on Hulk Hogan, August 15, 2005. you got to check this out. Either go to the WWE Network uh, and, and get that episode of Raw or go on to um, YouTube. That promo was like probably one of the best uh, promos. Uh, it was just like the, the crowd would just hated Shawn Michaels. It was, it was like Shawn Michaels going back to how he was in 97, 98, that like cocky heel. It, it was so great. The crowd was booing him. It felt so real, you know, and it's, you don't see that in wrestling anymore nowadays. It just, you know, like that, that wrestle getting that heat from the crowd. And it was, it was great. I highly recommend you checking that out. Uh, so what else we got here? We got the boot camp match, Shawn Michaels versus Triple H from uh, Raw of December 19th. Uh, Fatal Four-way match, uh, Backlash 2007, Cena defending against Shawn Michaels, Edge, and Randy Orton. Shawn Michaels versus Randy Orton from Survivor Series 2007. Uh, Shawn Michaels versus Chris Jericho from Unforgiven 2008. Um, that was a feud out of nowhere. I think that was supposed to be a one-off. I read, like, you know, I listened to podcasts where Chris Jericho talks about that feud where it was supposed to be like kind of like a one-off match, and they kind of like extended it into like this major program. And then we got Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels, WrestleMania 25. Many we, many people have said that that was the best WrestleMania match of all time. It was a really good match. And then the following year they had the rematch, and that would you know would, would be Shawn Michaels' last uh, last match. So you get you get a lot of uh, a lot of good uh, Shawn Michaels memories here. Some really good matches. Uh, again, no not much with DX because I think. There was another DVD that I do have that I'll do a review another time of his match, his time with, with DX. So they were just really concentrating on his, um, you know, his, you know, his career at, with, with the Rockers and then his solo stuff. Um, definitely, you know, recommending, you know, you just go on the WWE Network if you want and you could just watch some old, you know, Shawn Michaels matches.